Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One. We are going to do some Photoshop sunken treasure. These are those things that are kind of buried down deep inside Photoshop that we don't use all the time and I want to kind of bring them to light because some of them are pretty cool. And the one we're going to do today is for black and white conversions. But I want to take just 20 seconds to let you know tomorrow, Wednesday, at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, I have a free webinar for beginning photographers. So if you know a beginning photographer, someone that's just kind of getting started with this stuff and they want to really take a jump start, tell them to come and join me tomorrow at 2 o'clock. This is the address right here. It's a horrible address, but it is what it is. It's uh, bit.ly slash 2rpkq 1M. That will get you uh, to the webinar site. It's completely free, so invite anybody you like. Thousands of photographers have already signed up from all over. Uh, I have some things I think are really going to help. So if you know a beginner photographer, invite them. They'll have a great time. It's no Photoshop. It's no Lightroom. It's all just straight ahead photography stuff, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Speaking of fun, we're in Photoshop. Let's have some fun. So uh, let's go ahead and convert this to uh, black and white, the very flat, regular, normal way that you would do it, which is just go choose grayscale. And it gives like the worst possible conversion ever. It's <laughs> just flat and ugh. So here's a tool we're going to use instead on this other color image so we can compare. Go into the image menu and choose calculations right there. Now it usually looks bad when it first comes up because the default settings are not awesome, but it brings up this dialog box you see here. And basically you're combining layers to create a new look and you can blend them using this opacity and blend modes, right? Just like layers. So first let's choose our more reasonable uh, blend mode. We can go with either lighten, screen, overlay, or soft light. Those seem to be pretty good. Uh, let's look at uh, lighten. Oh, that looks better already. Or uh, screen or overlay, a little dark or soft light. But you really can't tell because you get to choose these three channels, one of these three channels, and one of these three channels to blend with. So, for example, let's go with soft light just for fun. And we'll choose green. And you'll see how that affects it. And blue. Well, that's looking better. Let's try green. Well, it's not bad. And blue. That's pretty good. So if you get this looking good, the two blues look good. Actually, let's try the green and the blue together. Well, that even looks good. Now you can try different blend modes if you like. How about overlay? That's nah, too dark. How about screen? Way too bright. How about lighten? Lighten's not bad. What if I mess around with these? Could probably come up with something pretty good. There's a blue and a blue. Blue and a green. Woo, look at that. Blue and red. All right, I like that. Let's lower the opacity a little. And there we go. Let's just click OK now when we're done. And you were working on a channel, so make sure you go back and click on RGB like if you want to see the RGB channel or the black and white version. See, once I get the black and white version I like, then I convert it to grayscale, and it looks the same. Yeah, discard the other channels. So look, stupid bad one from Photoshop. Awesome good one from calculations. Oh yeah, it's a little Photoshop buried treasure on the week after Pirates of the Caribbean was released. Coincidence? I think not. All right, guys, thanks very much, and I hope you enjoyed this Photoshop buried treasure.